Kong Racing. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Monkey Drives Car. I'm Color Farty, and I learned two things last episode I recorded. One, it's that unless you actually deactivate all of your codes, you won't be able to unlock Drumstick again. And if I do that, I will also have to unlock TT again, which I am not going to do, because TT is so hard to unlock. So basically, after you get a certain number of balloons, one of the frogs in the overworld will have a rooster comb above their head. Run over, over and you'll unlock drumstick. That's how it works. The other more annoying thing is I learned I didn't actually record the last episode that I thought I recorded. I cleared all the silver coin challenges in Snowflake Mountain, and once you clear those, you can't do them again. So... I had to restart. I had to start a completely new folder just to show these off, but it was worth it. So, all right. Let's be Diddy. No, let's be Diddy Kong. It didn't take that long because I used TT for, to catch up. Yeah, you'll see there's a new folder. AAA. All right, so step one. Hello, friends. The next one. Oh, that's right. He has not challenged me to the plain challenge in this file, so I'll have to do that in this episode as well. But it doesn't matter. So we're going to be Diddy Calm again. It's been a while since we've been in, and it is his game. So let's go to Snowflake Mountain. Snowflake Mountain. And Diddy Calm's going to do Everfrost Peak again. Diddy's pretty skilled as a pilot. Everfrost Peak. So the silver coin location should be pretty fresh in my mind, so that'll help. So there are two on that platform, which is nice. I'd rather get bananas down here on the first lap, than get the silver coin. That coin gave me a lot of trouble on my uh, first playthrough, where I missed it on all three laps and I actually had to go backwards. That was very interesting. I love all the whistling in this world, it's so good. Ah oh, shoot, missed that. Silver coin challenges, once you know all the locations of the silver coins, it's, they're not too hard until you get to the fourth world. Those are insane. <laughs> I love the super boost. Alright, now we'll do Snowball Valley as Diddy Kong. Snowball Valley is very fun for the Silver Coin Challenges, because the Silver Coins are just scattered everywhere on the level. Particularly in that snowball field. Oh boy! Ah shoot, that was way too early. There's some on the lower level too. Sweet, nice going, Diddy Kong. I love the giant hitboxes on the coins. That's a very nice touch. It's always nice to get all the silver coins before the final lap. Then you can just devote the final lap to keep. 
keeping your first place position or getting back up to first place. That's a little too far off-road, Diddy Cohen. Woo! First place! They just did- the designers did a great job with Snowflake Mountain. The graphics are beautiful and the music is amazing. Alright, now I think that we- now that we have 16 balloons, we should be able to get to the plane challenge. Or not. Alright, that's cool. We're gonna use Pipsy for the rest of Snowflake Mountain. Hello, <laughs> you didn't have to hit my butt. You were honking the horn. Just do one or the other. I guess we'll be finishing the episode off with the plane race against Taj. Alright, let's do Walrus Cove with Pipsy. Walrus Cove, Walrus Cove is so fun! So that coin's easy to get. Actually, a lot of the coins are pretty easy to get on this course, and there are a few that are very out of the way. This one's hard to get. You have to do a very sharp turn. Even as Pipsy. <laughs> Pipsy's amazing. Yeah, there are a lot of silver coins that are like really like right next to the edge of the river. That's fine. Honestly, the Silver Coin Challenges are just a very nice addition to the game. Because it shakes it up a bit and adds a lot of difficulty to the game. Like, don't get me wrong, I like easy games, but... This game would be too easy without the Silver Coin Challenges. Alright, so there's a coin coming up here. Whoosh. That's what happens when you hit the ice. And then there's a coin down this alcove. And look at this lead that Pipsy has. It's amazing. Granted, the tap A trick does do wonders for Pipsy, but still. And again, if you think Pipsy's good, and she is really good, TT is even better. His turning's not as good by any means, but he is way faster. And his turning's still pretty good. Yay! Now we can do Frosty Village. Frosty Village. Frosty Village is so beautiful! Alright, so the first lap I'm gonna focus on trying to get in first and getting a lot of bananas. Because this course is okay, or I could get that coin, that works. The competition on this course is pretty brutal. Oh great, especially if TT's my main competition. Excellent. It's time to spread holiday cheer on this frosty village of three houses. I really wish you could go in the houses. P 
Hipsy is also great because going off road like does not slow her down like at all. And I love this, the, the huge number of bananas on this level. I got a muffin whistling on this level. Oh no! <laughs> Seriously, this course is just so beautiful. Even the foggy area is so beautiful. <laughs> Twenty bananas! Man. Oh boy. And we get to face this boss for the second time. As Pipsy. <laughs> You're about to see why Pipsy is terrible in a hovercraft. If you can beat me again, I'll give you a special prize. Seriously, this guy is just way better on a second playthrough. Forever on the second time you face him. So he just gets in first from the get go, unless you get the big boost. The thing is, Pipsy in a hovercraft is because you can't do the tap A trick, or because the tap A trick doesn't work in a hovercraft. She's really slow, and her turning is terrible. Really, your only hope is to get some missiles and hit him. Darn it! Also, there are snowballs that try to run you over now. This tunnel is nasty. Alright. If we get these missiles, we might still be able to beat him. Nope. Beating him as Pipsy is just very difficult. Never mind, kid. You can come back whenever you're ready. So it's kind of weird that the like walrus has a tuxedo on. All right. Well, instead of fighting the boss again, we're gonna unlock the key in this world. You'd think it would be on Frosty Village or like Everfrost Peak, maybe, but no, it's on Snowball Valley, and it's pretty well hidden. Right at the beginning, there's an alcove this way, and the key's inside there. Very quick to get that one. And we unlock another minigame, which is vastly different from Fire Mountain. But we gotta try it. Icicle Pyramid. Icicle Pyramid. The last player remaining will win. Every, every character has a certain amount of HP. Every time you hit them, they lose bananas. Yes! <laughs> if you're quick, you can actually, like, instant hit while the person right across from you, which is cool. Yeah, you'll notice we have bananas. The bananas don't make us fast. Rather, the bananas are our HP. And you can't get more bananas. Alright, bumper. Oh, that was... Darn it! On the episode that didn't record, I actually got a perfect score on this. I never got hit. I do like how much effort w uh, was put into making this, though. This pyramid has three different levels, tons of secret passages. Or not really secret passages, just passages. Bumper's already gone, poor guy. Alright, Diddy Kong was this annoying in my previous playthrough as well. Where he's just like, haha, catch me if you can, loser! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, timber blew up. Homing missiles are very useful. So are regular missiles, though. Ouch. The size of their dot will tell you which floor they're on, so the larger the dot, the higher up they are. So I like this game because the ice physics are kind of non-existent. Oh, he's on the top. I'll wait for him to fall down, I think. Or maybe I have to come up and get him. <laughs> well, that works! Dude, stop weaving a smoke trail. What's powering that magic carpet of yours? You won first prize. Yeah! Excellent! You have another piece of the TT amulet. You have to get two more to collect. Good luck. Alright. One more thing we have to do this episode, and that's beat Taja's point race. And Diddy's pretty good as a pilot, so I think I will let him do the honors. Plane challenge! Test your flying skills, we must race around the island. I'm really bad at getting the boost on this Taj levels, I don't know why. As you can see, Diddy's much better at this race than Crunch is. And also, now that I've unlocked Drumstick, uh, I probably won't be using Crunch like ever again, because Drumstick's literally just a better version of Crunch. <laughs> He's like just as heavy, just as fast, has better turning, and gets really good boosts. Drumstick's pretty good for the time trials. Since you can't use TT to unlock TT. This music is underrated, music is underrated, yeah. Final lap, final lap, final lap, oh yeah. Oh, this is just a nice, fun game. The multiplayer is nowhere near as good as Mario Kart, but the single player is way better than Mario Kart's. Hello, friend. Well done! Take this as a reward. That was my last challenge. You have done well. Alright, and that is going to leave it for this episode of Diddy Kong Racing. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time, I have a hunch we'll be using a heavy character to get past that hovercraft boss. Anyways, have a great day, and God bless.